What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So guys, last time, maybe a couple weeks ago, I did a video and um, I was talking about my day and how I'm in school every day from like eight to four, eight to 4.30 now. It's a really good semester or nine to 4.30. I have school Monday through Friday. I'm gonna let you guys know just kind of hour by hour what I'm doing while I'm in school. On my busiest day this semester, this varies from semester to semester and then just the hours that I'm in school varies from day to day as well but i'm gonna give you my busiest day i'm gonna give you my lightest day and then i'm gonna give you my friday because that is like one of my fun i guess you could say days because it's friday you ain't got no job and you ain't got to do so my busiest day is monday it starts at eight o'clock i am in class my medical practice class it's my five credit um hour class which it's really kind of like 10 credits i promise you but um that's neither here nor there we're in class from 8 to 10 30. um that is my medical practice so we'll be in class from 8 to 10 30. we're getting lectures um if it is a test day we might start at 9 9 15 and we'll have like 50 questions 55 minutes or 50 minutes because we're down to 60 seconds a question now but from 8 to 10.30, that's medical practice. Then I'll have physical diagnosis. That's where you're looking to see like you're understanding what the physical manifestations of particular diseases look like. So that class is then from 10.30 to 12. 30 right no from 10 30 to 12 and then from that um we'll have lunch from 12 to 1 so we'll get an hour for lunch um we usually get an hour for lunch every day except for tuesday which i will talk about in a little minute but so from 12 to 1 we'll have an hour break for lunch and then from 1 to 3 o'clock yes from one o'clock to three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm in medical practice again. Um, and so we'll do more lectures. Um, maybe, we, maybe we might have a guest lecturer coming to speak to us about different disease processes. And then after that, I will have my medical informatics class. Since we have to do a master's thesis and we have to look at different research, this is the class that we learn about like statistics again. And we were learning, you know, okay, so what kind of um, research they did, did they do? Was it retrospective? Was it prospective? And it's kind of helping us know how we should do our master's thesis research project. So that is my class, but we're in that class from 3 to 4.30. And that is my busiest day this semester. Now, my lightest day is my Tuesday. So on Tuesdays, we have physical, it's all lab pretty much. So it's physical diagnosis and it's sim lab. I don't have to start my sim lab until 9.30, which is amazing. So I don't have to be at class until, or in school until 9.20. Give myself a little 10 minutes to get ready for sim. And then I will have sim from 9.30 to 9.50. Um, I'll get another 10 minute break before I have to start my physical diagnosis class. But this is the lab portion. So this is when we're learning to do all of the physical, like check, we're doing check sheets and things of that nature. So that's where I learned how to do the pelvic exam or, you know, your eye exam, um, heart, you know, cardio and, you know, pulmonary. So we're learning all of that in that particular PD lab. And we're in lab from 10 to 12. And then we'll have debrief for sim from 12 to one. And then this is the beauty of my Tuesdays. From one to three, you guys, we have lunch. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. I'm so excited about it this semester because that means if I have something really important to study for, I can study for it before I go to class for 9 um, 30 and then I can study again for it from 1 to 3 uh, of course you know I'll eat something I usually go home which is great because I only live like five minutes away so it makes it really easy for me to just pop home chill out see my daughter see my husband maybe take a nap if I ever want to I haven't done that yet but I can do that um, I'm usually kind of just working studying or working on a note that might be due that Friday, but that's what I have to do on Tuesdays. And then we come back again from 
three to four and that's when I will have my uh then I'll have my medical informatics class again so that's really it on my Tuesdays I don't have that much that I'm doing it's a couple classes but I have this huge break and then there's Fridays which is like my favorite day ever because that's when we're at the clinic that's when we're actually out there in the field practicing the skills that we've learned it's we have to be up for eight o'clock because we have a community clinic class where we're learning like how to do our patient presentations and you know just from the clinic that we've patients that we've seen in the clinic before so we'll present them on Friday morning we'll learn about just community clinics in general and what that means and how we can benefit from working from them um, what they do for the community so that's from eight to nine there are people who have because of half of our class um, has PBL in the morning and clinic in the afternoon or and then the other half has clinic in the morning and PBL in the afternoon this semester I have clinic in the morning so if I do have a clinic day I have to be at the clinic for 930 we're there from 930 to about 12 then we'll break you know we have lunch uh, if we have our clinical rotation class which is just kind of preparing us for rotation since that is coming up in a few months then it will be from 12 45 to about 1 30 and then we'll have PBL from 2 to 5 so it is a longer day um, it's kind of filled with a bunch of different things but it's a lot of interactive learning situations like in PBL we are getting a new case we have to figure out what's going on with our imaginary patient how we're going to treat them and then write a note all about it um, get a discussion going about it to make sure that we understand the um, like pathophys of the disease and how we would now educate our patient and their family members moving forward so it's technically like a long day because I'm in school from eight to five every Friday however um, I have long breaks in because every other Friday I don't have clinic so that the other the other 25% of my class, other fourth of the class um, can have their free clinic morning day. So there are Fridays when I don't have free clinic and I'm able to study and learn or sleep um, for a good three hours. But that is like a light day, a fun day. Um, but those are it. That is my busiest day to my lightest day to my fun day. Um, this semester is a lot better than summer session and fall session it's just a lot more easygoing i guess i feel like we may have a better grasp on pa school so fear not you guys if you guys are trying to get into pa school um yes you're in school a lot you're in school from like eight to four eight to five but they do put in breaks there for you guys um i know some pa schools don't even go to school on friday so that might be a school that you attend and that that would be cool but mine doesn't necessarily do that however the Friday is filled with interesting things uh, but hopefully this was a little bit more helpful a little bit more informational for you guys that were wondering well what do you mean by your in school every day and like what is a long day for you look like with respect to school that's what it looks like currently um, if you have any questions for me regarding this particular topic or anything else go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and then if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to my channel join me on the journey thank you guys so much for watching and follow me on instagram at adana the pa all right i will talk to you guys next time bye